iPhone 14 Pro iPhone 14 Pro Max so Apple recently released their new iPhone 14s which is the latest edition in the iPhone line but as developers we should be concerned because of the new dynamic island so basically it's the same camera notch but now it's just more centered one thing you might notice is that it will actually take in up more space than before with it taking up to 23% uh, percent more space so that means then it's less space for your app to appear but then that's not a problem because your app can move down the problem is in areas whereby developers are not using the correct APIs for example using the correct safe area view so so what happens is that like if you if your app is manually typed in, in them like uh, I mean like the padding on top from the top to the bottom of the notch if before you used a manual number you're in trouble because now the padding is gonna be more than what you allowed for in the app so that means then some of your content is gonna be eaten up by the notch so for react native it's easy because you can actually define the safe area view uh, the safe area view will allow the app to extend beyond that uh, dynamic notch so for react native we have a react native safe area context area context so this is this this package uh, is in addition to react native safe safe area view so that means then like you can use uh, safe area view from uh, react native this on its own will allow you to create an app which respects that notch so you can see that to render content within the safe area bounds of the device so currently it's only stable applicable for ios devices with ios version 11 or later so that means then for this latest version of the iphone it will work and it's a really simple implementation because you just wrap it wrap the app in a safe area context but then what i don't like about the safe area view is that it doesn't respect the notches on android devices that's why i tend to go with the safe area context with safe area context you mind that even though it's coming from expo you can use it in a bare react native app and it's simply you just say just import safe area view from safe area context react native safe area context and the way you use it is just like you read you do the same similar thing like that you do with the with the core react uh, safe area view from the from react native but in this case you just import it from react native area view and then you could just set self area there and then just wrap it and then just like that your app supports the dynamic notch so apps should progress but as developers we should always be always ahead of the of the curve uh, this is like exciting features uh, to 
to add to our app so if you're looking forward to another video whereby i tell you how to actually in integrate the dynamic notes towards your app uh give this video a like or a comment and then i'll make a follow-up video about how you can actually use code to interact with the dynamic notch cheers y'all